So today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that has really been life changing for me and it's something that you may already apply in your lives or you might want to after watching this video, but it's 100% free and that is the law of attraction. It's often um, shortened by called LOA, L-O-A. So I'm not sure if you've heard of this before, but a lot of people like celebrities including Jim Carrey and Oprah have used this in their lives and have gotten really good results. And I had heard of the term like since I was a child really, but it's something that I think I had actually put into practice before, but I didn't realize it until about a year ago. So right around the new year, last year, I decided that I really wanted to put it into practice. I started watching a lot of Law of Attraction videos on YouTube. I guess first of all what I should tell you is what the Law of Attraction is. I think the best way to find out what it is if you don't know about it is to watch the movie The Secret which you can watch on Netflix and you can also watch it here on YouTube. It's a movie that I watch over and over and over again for inspiration. But basically the main principle of the Law of Attraction is to feel as if you already have whatever it is you're seeking in life, whether it is a promotion at work, something tangible like you want a new bicycle or a new car or something else like you want peace in your life or you want more money from your job or do you just want more money to come to you. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to apply it and it doesn't always have to be materialistic, but there's a lot of different ways to adapt that into your life. And I kind of want to talk about that today and how I've adapted that into my life. So it's a lot more than just like thinking positively or just hoping for the best. Um, I think it's hard sometimes to be positive. I feel like we live in kind of a negative world. And um, when I really started focusing on my thoughts, it was crazy how many thoughts were coming to me or just by talking to friends and family, how many negative thoughts were around me and surrounding me all the time. Um, and it's just funny, if you start paying attention to it, you'll probably realize that some of your friends and family and you yourself have negative ways of looking at something. So let's say that you wanted to try for a promotion at your job. Um, and you immediately start thinking like, I would love to have this promotion, but I know that so-and-so is better than me, or I don't think the boss really likes me, or I really don't think I'm that qualified. So when you're putting that energy out into the world, you're basically setting yourself up to not get that promotion. So that's just one of the main principles of the law of attraction. So um, you should always be thinking like, I can't wait to have that new job. It feels great to have this promotion. It feels great to be able to um, you know, have more vacation time or whatever comes with that promotion. So that is one of the first things you should start doing. And honestly, one of the first things that I started doing to put the law of attraction to work in my life was keeping a journal. So I started with this really small journal. It's completely full now and I started it a year ago, um, pretty much this time last year. And I would just write down before bed like my goals basically for the year and for the rest of my life. So it may be something like, uh, one of my goals actually was to get a bike and that may sound crazy to you, but I'd had a bike as a child but I didn't have one as an adult and I ended up with six different bikes and I didn't pay for any of them. So I really feel like I manifested them like crazy because I wrote it down so many times. It did take a few months but this happened to me. Um, and if you want me to do more videos and be more specific about how things worked out, you can let me know. I've never done a video like this on my channel, so I'm not sure how you guys are going to like it. But if you thumbs this up, you let me know that you like it and you want to see more videos like it. Um, so anyway, I also wrote down places that I want to travel because I'm really... Um, one of my main goals in life is to travel all over the world and I accomplished a lot of those goals. Pretty much, I would say there were two or three big things that didn't happen, but when I went back through this book at the end of this year, just a couple days ago, like I was completely amazed about how many things had actually come true. It was crazy. So I got a bigger book for this year. I've already started it since I filled that one up because I feel like the sky is the limit and I want to write down even more things. And I think it's good to be as specific as possible. So if you want a new car, you want to say you want the um, Toyota Camry and I want this specific color and I want the 2017 model or whatever, like be super specific. Um, 
I know it may sound completely crazy to you, but it's really worked in my life. It's like the stars align and the universe works together for things to happen positively. Um, and if nothing else, you're thinking in a more positive way and it really changes your entire day. Because if you wake up and you think negative thoughts and you think negative thoughts all day and you go to bed with negative thoughts, it's really hard to have a positive life or to have positive things happen to you. Um, and I've really figured that out over the course of the last year. Um, and also for you, because I know a lot of you guys obviously watch YouTube videos because you're on YouTube. So if you have some downtime and you want to research this more, I always would just search with Law of Attraction or LOA, L-O-A, or Law of Attraction Celebrities because I enjoyed seeing people who um, are successful and where they started from. To give you an example, Jim Carrey was not like a famous person. He didn't have famous relatives or famous family to help give him jobs in Hollywood. Um, but when he moved to California, he didn't have a lot of money. And he wrote himself a check for a million dollars. And I think it took maybe a year or several months later, he was able to cash that check because he got the lead role in a movie. So he definitely applies the law of attraction to his life. Um, all the time and it has worked for him. Also something else that I've been enjoying is looking online to find contests to enter and that has helped me manifest some of the things on my list um, and help them to come true. And again, everything that I write down in my goals in life are definitely not, I want a Chanel bag. Um, it's not like everything I want is materialistic, but there are some things that would help my life. For example, the bike that I wanted, I'm a very active person and I live in an area where biking, there's all kinds of bike trails and I've ridden bikes before, but I wanted my own bike. So this has helped my health and helped me to be more active when it was warm. I have even ridden it some in the cold weather. So, um, you know, you don't want to just make a list of like, I want a Mercedes and I want a million dollars and stuff like that. Although you can have those kind of things, but you want to think about things that would like enrich your life and make your life better. Or at least that's what I did when I was making my list. So I like to find contests on social media. You have probably seen them yourself when you're scrolling through Instagram. Some YouTubers have contests. I've even had contests before back in the day. Maybe we should do that again. Um, and I wanted to mention that one of my goals is, of course, to make more income and to do, um, you know, so that, so that I can have more income to travel basically is my um, goal be behind trying to win money or find ways to make money, um, which is one of the reasons I do YouTube. But um, I actually entered a contest, I guess maybe a week or two ago, and it was from... Um, all One Landscape. They are a family owned business and they're on Facebook. They probably have other social media so I'll link those down below because I know they're going to have more contests in the future. But I just want to let you know that they told me this week I won $50 to Amazon. This is the um, email with the gift card attached. So they told me yesterday that I won and they sent me the gift card. And if you would like for me to make a separate video about how to find contests on social media and how to win things online, I can do that, just thumbs up this video. Um, but I just wanna thank them for giving me money for Amazon because you can use that for pretty much anything. Um, and encourage you guys, if you are interested in possibly entering one of their contests in the future to follow their social media, which is down below, and then you can possibly win from them in the future. And then I just wanna wrap this up by saying, YouTube was the number one thing that I wrote about in my journals or journal last year and my goal for last year was to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2016. Now when I made this goal I had just reached 3,000 so I reached 3,000 uh, right around the beginning of the year and honestly for me it was uh, something I didn't think was going to happen because realistically you know even though I thought positively realistically I didn't think it was going to happen just because um, my channel wasn't growing that fast and it was pretty much like September, maybe August or September, I still had about 4,000 subscribers. I was very happy. I remember telling you guys how happy I was to reach 4,000 and I was like, you know, I think this is where I'm going to end up for this year. But then people really started watching my videos, especially my American Horror Story videos, and my channel really took off and I got a thousand more subscribers very quickly and now I'm almost to the point of getting 6,000. And it's really crazy to me and I feel like that is one of the main things that I can use to say the law of attraction works because if you look at it from a realistic standpoint, it shouldn't have happened, especially late in the year. I'd only just reached 4,000. But, um, 
it's like everything that I had written down started to happen, and I wrote that down like every day that I wanted to reach 5,000 uh, subs. So I made my goal already for 2017. By the end of 2017, I'd like to reach 10,000, but I do appreciate all of you who are here, and I love meeting new people through YouTube, and it's been amazing. So again, if you're interested in the law of attraction, or if you're interested in finding online contests or anything in this video you would like me to do more videos on, thumbs this video up. Again, this is like a new topic for me to do on here, and I'm not sure if you guys you know, are going to be interested in that since I most, mostly do TV show reviews. So by your comments and thumbs ups, I will know if I should pursue more videos like this. But this will probably be my last video before 2017. So I want to say that I'm so very thankful for all of you guys and you've made my year wonderful. I've said it before, but I'll definitely say it again. Um, if you have been watching me and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to help me reach my goal for 2017 and be a new member of the Kelly TV family. So I just hope you have a wonderful, um, happy, prosperous 2017 and I hope that the law of attraction can maybe help you reach some of your goals next year and into the future. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.